Good morning, friends. Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. It's a lovely morning today. <laughs> so far, so good. We are home with Albus. Just the two of us. Right, buddy? Boop. I booped his snoot. Because <clears throat> just very recently, he was my uh, shower guardian. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, he was sleeping in the in the little hallway, and <laughs> when I went to the shower, he was immediately there. So, yeah, he was guarding me, protecting me from anything that can happen. Today, we continue with the Outer Wilds, because we have still not finished it, uh, to my <laughs> amusement, <laughs> or my surprise. It is. It is. Oh, it has been over 12 hours that we have invested in this game, and I don't know how far we are. It's quite interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna fire it up. Bam! There goes the music, because we are going into the game. We are. Yep. Okay. Best experience with a gamepad. Yep. No gamepad here. <laughs> and also, there is a little piece of information today. I might need to run off because there will be a delivery. 
and I will need to pick it up. So we'll see. We'll see. Currently, the window for delivery is in my lunch break. So we will see if it happens like that or it will change. Okay. So what did we manage to achieve yesterday? We got some more information from the high energy lab. We now know how to properly use the warp cores on every, not every, but on, on the planets. So that we can get uh, back and forth from uh, certain locations. <clears throat> and yeah, we still should explore the giants deep and dark bramble i'm gonna resume the expedition and we can choose our next target <laughs> i guess we still have quite a bit of uh talk with gabro who is on giants deep so why not try that let's go the groundhog day begins again <laughs> <laughs> there we are okay anything new in the log no not really giants deep I guess we should go there and have a look what is this Whitehall station Use a Nomai Warp Tower, stand in the middle of a platform on the floor and wait until the tower's corresponding astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai notice something strange, warp objects appear at the uh, arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they depart it. Indeed, the negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. The Nomai were skeptical of their equipment could even measure time to such a small degree. Okay. But it doesn't say that we have more to explore there, so hopefully that's it. Why is the station yellow now? Odd. Okay, Giants Deep. Gabro's Island. <clears throat> Gabro is lounging in a hammock near the near the island's shore. Yeah, so we need to go there. There should be a quantum signal around. We explore the statue island and the statue workshop. <laughs> Giants deep it is. Let's find Gabro. Uh, could we have... Yeah, we can mark this. Great! Great, great, great. We can mark this on our map. First launch of the day. <laughs> Wish me luck. Also, the the wreck of the the propulsion cannon in orbit. Hmm. We managed to land on one part. I don't know if we really need to land on the others. All right. Let's try to go deeper. Okay, just fine. This is fine. Signal nearby, really. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. 
Come on. We were next to him before. Yeah, bro. Signal identified. And is there something else? Quantum fluctuation. There is something in the depths. Okay. Let's talk to Gabra. A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. <laughs> I'm just looking for Albus. I don't know what he's doing. Albus. Okay, I guess he's just playing with something. <laughs> okay, so... Let's begin again. A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. So, how do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. <laughs> Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. <laughs> what? Sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Uh... No. No. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Well, that's just so very pleasant. Albus. Come here, buddy. Okay, I think I need to close the door. Come here. All right. Let's make sure he will not wander into the bed. Wander into the bedroom, because he has no place going there so now we have the option to meditate until next loop <sighs> gabro you fool gabro gabro there i was so happy that we landed quite beautifully on that island and now we loop again Okay, Giant's Deep, and I will mark Gabros Island again. Buckle up, and here we go. Get me there, autopilot. And steady. And we go down again. stuck again okay we're landing right next to Gabro because whatever can we do it whatever <laughs> this is our life now do I have everything? I think I do. Okay, we landed a little bit in the water. 
Okay, Gabro, you fool. Don't you teach me about meditation anymore. If it isn't my time, buddy, how space treating you, this loop? <clears throat> I found something. Nice, nice. What you got for me? I reached the inside of Statue Island. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. You think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach because uh, I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny that must be memory friend <laughs> I believe so hello again again okay what are you doing out here well what are any of us doing here really nah, I'm just kidding I'm out here exploring our solar system same as you but I tell you what outer space really gives you room to think it's quiet and peaceful out here I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. <clears throat> okay, where should I explore in Giant's Deep? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else, what else? Uh, have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabro relaxation scale. <clears throat> Good one. If you like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands. Connected by a natural rock. Natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Okay, we were there already. What's up with this planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant like tell you more about it. Gotcha. Well, Giant's Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a waste beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to get past that current and neither idea worked. Neither. <laughs> okay. As for land masses, I've counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. Uh, you've seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely to kill you. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Where's your ship? That's a good question. <laughs> It's definitely on this planet somewhere, I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> that would be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. <laughs> okay. So, is this it? This is all from Gabro? Seems to be. <clears throat> cool, cool, take it easy out there. And ship log updated. Okay. Not much to see there, right? This is pretty bad. Double gravity. So our jetpack will not really help us. Oh, there is a path. the marshmallow but it's not really needed is this it sardines or something come on I wanted more those 
matter. because it's less likely to kill us, right? Indeedy. Let's go back into the ship. Refuel everything, and we might need to fly around a little. should be four islands in total. And we definitely saw another one. Right near. Like possibly this one, right? <laughs> okay. We banged our ship pretty hard, I guess. Uh, t -t -t -t, let's open what we can. Landing gear as well. Right. Trees detected. This is all a tree. This seems to be safe. So far so good. get killed again Whose campfire is this? Trip 4, entry number whatever, crashes 2, boring crashes 0, remember to see Slade when I get back. Haha, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core, consider yourself conquered Giants Deep, you just got Feldspart. <laughs> that was one of my more dramatic feats, uh, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Uh, can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gosan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more of the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Well, that's interesting. At least.
cannot fly much in here. I'm a little puzzled. <laughs> Fish in uh, like in their etching process or something because it sure looks like it there's Gabro All right, so I guess the ship was stuck in a really weird angle and it actually killed us. <laughs> but we know that Felchbar actually is in Dark Rambo. Yeah, because he, he traveled into the seed and he's in there, so essentially I don't think we will be able to properly investigate on Giants Deep. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see what the ship lock, ship's lock has. Alright. So. Bramble Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Felchbar camp here before heading off to Dark Bramble. Okay, there is nothing else on that, on that little one. Ocean depths. Gabro says there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. Felchbar found a way to reach the core of Giants Deep. I believe it's through Dark Bramble. At least I think so. Felchbar. Felchbar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giants Deep. After reaching the core of Giants Deep. 
When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. Remains of a Nomai space station. Right. Are we gonna make another attempt to get there? We might. <laughs> Just a second. Hmm. Um. All right. Sorry, there was an, a very, a very unexpected sneeze, <laughs> so I rather muted myself. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Back to that. Orbital probe cannon. Now well, let's let's go into the orbit with the autopilot, and then we can try to kind of lock on because there should be more to explore. does it the velocity not like this We were there once already. And again. Oh, shit. Matching the speed, at least trying. Hey there, moon. Wanton moon. Okay, so those two other sections are not really interactable. So we need to land on that platform again. I really don't know what I missed, because we kind of explored thoroughly when we were on that cannon.
velocity matched. Oh, there is something in there. Islands are getting into orbit and there was something interesting in that one. velocity I don't know this is really weird and tough where's the landing platform That took its sweet, sweet time. Okay, we have the suit, we have everything. We go in here and into the middle. So let's try to find out what we missed. was not what I meant. <laughs> Let's go closer. Oh, tracking module. Is it? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. into space from here. That's not good, is it? Okay, this was launch module. Scout is going. Going all hell. Okay, that was the other part of the of the cannon.
I feel like I need to hit something with that uh, with that scout. And the third one is control module. Okay, so I believe we we didn't move through this one. Indeed, we were not here. My mistake. And we can walk. <laughs> Great. Ooh la la. Okay, I think first we will explore the, the normal the n normal floor and then we can try to get something else on the other side one this is another one launch module projection stone okay mallow my better 50 percent cassava is sending the last of the cannon components soon relatively speaking we'll know the ice precise location the thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and I am right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. <laughs> Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the, eye of the universe. Okay, just a second, guys. There is somebody at the door.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> that was a quick fitness and, it, and it's actually not the package that I'm expecting to be delivered. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, I completely forgot that my mom sent me a package of something. I actually don't know what it is. And this is what arrived. <laughs> so the second delivery should still happen. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Sorry, sorry. Whew, all right. That was a quick trip and let's continue. So given the orbital probe cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. So this is the thing that we see every time we wake up. The, the probe being shot from the cannon, but the cannon is being destroyed. <laughs> so, not too great, right? Okay, launch module projection. We'll leave this here. Giant's deep projection stone. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Malo and I will join you and Des Privet in Des. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so let's try. Try this one. Launch module projection. Seems to be current state. Whoops. Try again. Seems to be current state. Where is it? Yeah, it's still circling in the orbit. Okay. I don't get there. I'm gonna put it down here and let's check Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Right. So there is definitely an island where I still need to go. This is the one. Okie dokie. And we still have the second floor to investigate. There we go. Well, there is only one thing to do here. Well, no. There are four things to do here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is this a simulation? Quite interesting. Oh, we have text here. No, 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 no. Come back, everyone. Come back. Show me what you got. It's 
So, orbital probe cannon, cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact, no structural damage. Launch module, viewport window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. Interesting. Okay, that was the intended... Not really the intended thing that should have, have happened, but it did happen. La begin launch log. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Right. Interesting. 15 minutes, 0 seconds ago, request a launch probe received from Ashtwin project. Can align with a randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. So this is the Ashtwin project then? Well then, quite a bit of information, which is great. It's progress, definitely, and we love progress. Anything hidden behind? No, not really. All right, I guess this is it. to the ship and we will try to check if the log for this cannon is now complete maybe just have a look see here okay, this is where the probe was held right and quite a few warp cores of sort accelerants <laughs> Too bad. I'm finally getting the hang of it. But you need to match velocity all the time, even though the HUD does not tell you so. Jetpack and check the ship's log. Are you serious? The control module recently received a request from the Ashtwin project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. One of the orbital probes can on three modules. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge bridge in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to a vacuum of space. Okay, the probe tracking module is receiving data from the launched probe. And no, my computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
The Nomai built the orbital probe cannon at a construction yard on Giant's Deep. And the cannon. The broken remains of a Nomai space cannon in orbit. We already know that. There are three X's away. So the orbital probe cannon was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. The Nomai pushed the orbital probe cannon above its maximum power setting to create the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Isn't that great? Really? We can go into those modules? Even though they are circling in space? than stellar. Yeah, this is just the propulsion module. Where's the tracking module? All the islands floating. try to like kill myself <laughs> by trying to fly on my own into those modules because I'm smaller than the than the ship on the other hand I don't believe we can hit anything and we will get sucked into the planet and then we cannot really fly up so City matched. Okay, this is the huge crack.
be quick. Okay, probe tracking module will be the first. I'm just gonna quickly go through it because our time is very, very short. I guess we did it we got more info is just what was needed Poo. <laughs> so these are the modules just around um, just around the single cannon so around the main structure I thought that we would need to go into those uh, fractured bits and pieces that are flying next to it, but no! Alright, let's have a look what our ship's log has, based on what we kind of gathered. I didn't manage to read it, but we gathered the data. Right. Launch module. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A nomai named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only needed to fire the probe once. A nomai named Privet countered that they wouldn't be capable of receiving the, bro the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. Right? Okay, the probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Any nomai aboard the probe tracking module would be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. No, my computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. I saw the probe tracking module through a Nomai projection pool. It looks like the module is underwater. I could see purple electricity outside the viewport. So it is, it is on the planet. <laughs> that means it's on the planet somewhere. And we know that there is the construction yard also in Giants Deep, so there is a way to explore something new there. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Ocean <laughs> depths. Gabriel says there's a strong current. First, better find a way to reach the core. Bremble Island. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. Yeah. There might be a way from under the island. I'm not sure. Construction yard. This is the thing I would like to find as well. So, let's go. <laughs> Deep, please. And there we go. <coughs> Firebomb. How is it going? Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, it's steady. <laughs> we have managed to get more pieces of lore and information. But, yeah, there is still, still more to have. And actually, I also had to run off for a little bit because there was a delivery. <laughs> there should be another one. So, we are currently exploring the Giant's Deep. <laughs> Mood Gorning. How is the night for you, my good sir? Everything okay? Right, 
there is the there is Gabro's Island. I don't really wish to go there again. I need to find the construction yard if we can. I bet it will be in the middle of these bastards. Where else, right? I'm gonna read chat. <laughs> You're quite tired, I can imagine. Well, you can still have a nap again. Yay, lore and info. <laughs> Mood gurning. A little upset, but it's all going okay. How about your morning? It was fine. Today it's just me and Albus, or Albus and myself. I don't know where he went. But I believe he found a, a great spot to, to sleep in. And I guess so far so good, really. The temperature is fine. I woke up quite okay, but it was the two-faced uh, wake up. Like, I really woke up before and then <laughs> I kind of had my second alarm. Oh no, this is just the... This is just the statue island. So when I woke up for the second time, I was kind of trashed, you know. Oh, this is Gabra's ship. Yeah, I don't think we can survive that one. So where is the last island? Okay, we were definitely here. Try to look underneath there's some entry into this one doesn't seem to be right yep there is no entry definitely saw the construction yard when we were out on the cannon in the orbit because one of the tornadoes bumped it in this, into space so there definitely was one Pilot damaged, cockpit damaged. We are so damaged. I think I should land. There we go. Okay. <laughs> You were still trash from last night? No, I, I use the word just uh, for the feeling. It's not like I drank or anything. I don't really drink. <laughs> if I have a, an occasional beer, that's about it. So, yeah, trashed in the meaning of like banged with a sack of rocks across my head or something like that. <laughs> I felt completely tired while I was waking for the second time, waking up. So that's about it. <laughs> Maybe bad choice of a word. Okay, everything fixed. Yep, everything fixed. So some of these islands are easy to find, but the bloody construction yard is eluding me. It's elusive. It's this one. It's this one. Ah! 
Okay, whatever. I'm gonna repair the ship, I don't care. But we found it. There we go. And the landing gear. We'll be okay. Okay, ship is fine. And now, time to explorinate. Firebomb. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. I knew that. Sorry, I don't really drink either. Not a bad choice of a word, just not something I have ever heard. <laughs> Understood. So, yeah. I can also use something else like, uh, well, completely tired, sleepy, unable to wake up, <laughs> or just, you know, trashed, like when you wake up and you can't really open your eyes. Hey there, Albus. Hey there, buddy. I'm gonna check out what's underneath. <laughs> Wanna come under my chair? Come here, buddy. Love you. Okay. <laughs> so he come to lay down with his head on my feet and he just yawned. <laughs> I guess he's he's still pretty sleepy. I like trashed. It sounds good for that. <laughs> okay. And it's agreed. Uh, so, did you manage to get some more sleep after yesterday? I'm happy that you managed to get some, because, you know, you are tired quite often, so it's best to have a good night's sleep. 